Dear friends, good morning on Saturday the 20th of June. This week we've seen how troubled, fearful, worried and confused the Apostles are by Jesus' prediction of his departure and of their failure. In particular, Judas's betrayal, Peter's denial, Thomas's inability to grasp where Jesus is going, Philip unable to accept Jesus' divinity, and Judas, not Judas Iscariot, unable to see why Jesus doesn't reveal himself instantly to the whole world. Yet these 11 men are going to be the foundation stones of Jesus' church. They and their teaching are going to turn the whole of the ancient world upside down. How did such an unimpressive bunch do that? The answer is the Holy Spirit, who we began to think about yesterday. This is what Jesus goes on to say in John 14, verse 26. All this I've said while still with you, but the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything that I've said to you. So here is a promise from Jesus of how the Apostles are going to turn the world upside down. First, the Holy Spirit will teach the Apostles all things. Now that doesn't mean that they will instantly know all about nuclear physics, the mysteries of the solar system and the biochemistry of the human body. No, the Spirit will teach and teach them all things that they need to know about Jesus, things that they don't understand yet. Jesus repeats this promise later at the Supper, in John 16, verse 13. But when he, the Holy Spirit, comes, he will guide you into all truth. And we see this promise being fulfilled from the day of Pentecost onwards, when the Apostles begin to understand and explain the Gospel with great boldness of, and clarity of understanding, that they never had when Jesus was with them. Their Spirit-inspired teaching is recorded for us in the Acts of the Apostles and in the New Testament letters. But Jesus gives another promise in John chapter 14 and verse 26. The Holy Spirit will remind you of everything I have said. Now it's clear from what we've seen of the Apostles at the Last Supper that they remember very little of what Jesus has spent three years teaching them. They have no idea why he's got to suffer and die, despite his repeated predictions and explanations of his death. But how different they are after they're filled with the Spirit on the day of Pentecost. They remember everything that Jesus said and did, and recorded what they remembered in the Gospels. Indeed, this Gospel of John that we're looking at is John's Spirit-inspired memories of Jesus. So what we have in this verse is no, no, no less than a promise that underpins the authority of the whole of the New Testament. Jesus promises the Apostles the gift of the Holy Spirit, who will enable them to remember everything that he said and to teach everything else that the Church needs to know. By derivation, the Holy Spirit does the same for us. He takes the Apostles' teaching in the Bible, teaches us all that we need to know, and reminds us of all that Jesus said. So. If you want to make an impact on the world for Jesus, read the Spirit-inspired New Testament. It's the gift of the Holy Spirit to you. God bless you today.